Welcome to the fifth floor, Northern Utah's premier wedding venue located in historic downtown Ogden, Utah. Over the next two days, eight florists will compete in a series of challenges. They'll have to design, arrange, and present their final vision to the judges. 15 minutes remaining. At the end of the competition, the top three will earn a spot on the fifth floor's preferred vendors list. Winner, come in last place, that's great. I'm Stacey Larson, owner of The Fifth Floor, and we're about to find out who will win in Bloom. Hi, my name is Keisha Stevenson. I'm the owner of Lavender and Lace Floral. I started this company just about a year and a half ago. I'm Jessica DeWitt. I'm the owner and lead creative at DeWitt Planning, and we've been in the industry um, for about 10 years. I'm not your traditional florist. I work with wood flowers and faux greenery. Yeah, I can be a really competitive person sometimes. I like to be competitive, but I also am not one to let it go too far, but. When it comes to flowers, I feel like it's gonna be a, a good competition. <laughs> I have never done anything <laughs> like this, so definitely stepping out of the comfort zone. Maybe I don't walk away with first place prize, but I would love to be in the top three and become one of the preferred vendors for the fifth floor. I was always watching the florists and dying to do what they did, but never thought I could do it myself. I'm just excited to challenge myself. Don't tell anyone, but I haven't done an arch before. <laughs> I was really sick, and so I had these flowers, and they kind of were my outlet. And so I had a surgery that changed my whole life, and once I had that surgery, it was like game changer, and I just decided to stick with florals. My favorite thing about working with flowers is having the emotion behind them. I feel like as a new business owner, um, I'm really learning who I am as a designer. So many different styles and people. I mean, everyone is out here creating art, making their own pieces that I think just in being able to express that is like winning in itself. If I were to win, it would just be so validating to me to know that I can be good at this and to show other women that they can be good at things too, no matter where they're at in their stage of life. Thank you guys so much for doing this and applying and I think it's going to be so fun and we've hopefully done some fun things for you guys to have a great experience as well as something for your guys' portfolio and then um, just kind of like learning by being around your guys' peers. I think I came more into this that I want to do something for myself and if I win then that would be amazing. Of course I'm a little bit nervous but I know how to work quick. Florists, go ahead and grab your aprons and put them on and we'll get started with the challenge. Day one will be split into two parts. For the first challenge, everyone must create a unique centerpiece from identical store-bought flower arrangements. The winner will receive a benefit that will help them for the next part of the competition. They will have 20 minutes to complete this challenge. Ready, set, go. I am one who tends to like design heavily with greenery, so having like five stems of greenery was a little like intimidating to me. Sorry, yeah, you are just <laughs> lost. Don't even worry, you're fine. The challenge was challenging. It was really hard actually. <laughs> just because I don't really don't get floral arrangements from the store and the vase was giant. It was really big and it was really hard to fill it with all those little flowers. So Alex, as our expert judge, you will be the one really making the final decision on these centerpieces. So what do you think you'll be looking for? No, I think I'm just really looking for who is able to take the materials that were given and do the most with it. I want to see them kind of come out in it. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, a personality in each Yes, thing. I want to see the personality I want to yeah. see. And it's super important in centerpieces for them to fill full and have shape, right? Yeah, and I okay. think that's another point, is mm -hmm. we did not give them a lot to work with. Right, right? for the size for of the, the vase. Yes, okay. Had, so that's gonna be We another, like to make it challenging. Yeah, that's yeah. another thing we're gonna look for. I think the intensity, like the, where we're on a timeline, you know, we only have so long to finish. It just add that like adrenaline just drains you a little bit more than if I was working maybe in a typical situation outside of a competition. 
Just a little under five minutes left to finish. I'm feeling confident. I feel like I covered my surface area pretty well. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of flowers, so it wanted to kind of keep it tight to cover everything. Kind of getting what the shape and the formation was a little bit challenging for me. I think I did it. <laughs> One, okay, Flores, hands off faces. Alex and I will now evaluate each centerpiece. Oh. They look really good, honestly. Oh, it looks for, so good. Yeah. I know, I'm like sweating over here. <laughs> <laughs> After deliberation, we'll announce who receives a benefit which will help them in the next challenge. So yes, I think we agree that that one pretty much shakes from all angles was yeah. the right thing. Yeah, I think definitely she hit everything we were looking for. Yeah, I, lo I loved it too. Awesome. Well, then we're in agreement. Honestly, this was really hard for me um, because I think everybody really brought something to the table. Um, and I think given what you were given, you really showed who you are. Um, and it's really hard to judge that. We decided that the winner is Juniper Sage Floral. All those years of working at the grocery store floral shop really paid off. I mean, I wasn't expecting that. There's a lot of great um, designers here, and so that was really, really exciting. You are the winner of the challenge, so you will get the advantage. I will announce what the advantage is just after we do the drawings of the arches, okay? Each florist will now randomly draw one of eight different styles of wedding arches. Their task, to wow the judges with design and execution in just 90 minutes. There are a couple arches that I'm hoping for more than others, but I've got really good ideas for all of them. I love the triangle ones and the wood ones because they're just so much easier to build on and they kind of go with my floral technique. I'm really hoping that I don't get the golden arches. Although if I do, I will nail it and we'll get it going good. All of these are kind of new grounds for me. So if anything, I'm more excited to see what I will do. Anything probably other than the round arch, which now that I put that in the ethos, I'll probably get that one, so. Open your arches. I got the uh, double triangle. I got this one, the one that I was most nervous about. I got the one that I wanted, but I don't want to say that out loud because I might get it taken away from me. <laughs> because Juniper and Sage won, you get to trade for the arch that you would like. So who of the lucky ladies would you like to trade your arch with? Um, whoever has the double golden arch. I was really worried about the um, circle arch where it's just so slim. I was really worried about that mechanically and just like making sure that things would hold up and stay where I wanted them. I got to trade and now I get a circle one and I'm much happier about that one. So I'm very happy about this. I was actually glad that she switched with me and that I got that because I have done a circle arch before, so I kind of knew how I would envision it. I'm actually really happy that I got to trade, so I'm glad we're both happy. Yeah. All right, this portion of the competition is about to begin, and this is where you guys will have one hour to prep your designs um, from your universal design and put it towards the arch that you guys received at the drawing. I don't know, my passion, my drive <laughs> for the flowers, I think that might be something I have in my back pocket that'll help me stand out too or give me a leg up on everybody else, I don't know. I'm just nervous that it's gonna come down to the wire and I might not be done yet. Floris, are you ready? Go. Yeah, yeah. I was like really excited for everything and then I like saw that I had that arch and I was kind of like, oh, shoot. Like, what am I gonna do? And so I stood there with my husband, who's my assistant, and we looked at it and I said, okay, well, we can come up on each side and just do this, or we can drape something over the top and create like a ceiling of flowers. It's gonna be really challenging. I don't know if it's gonna work, never tried it, but, and he was like, let's do it. So I was thinking if we could do something on the top, and then we have a bunch of like hanging um, florals and components and greenery, so I want it to almost like be like, reminiscent of like the mountains, like dripping. You know, it's just like everything, all the elements are kind of falling out, which is cool. 
so I think that will look nice. At this point, our florists are getting their structures in place. So you can see some people are using chicken wire, um, some people brought their own structures to help build, uh, but this is really gonna help give that piece the design that the designers have in mind. All the designers here, we all have so many different talents and areas that we're kind of special in. I try to really be intentional about my designing, but also make them look unintentional, I guess. I like to really feel like we just picked up this great big bouquet off of the mountains and we just threw it onto the arch. The outdoors really inspire me, especially like when fall, when everything is dying. That's like my inspiration. And so it might be just a little bit different, it's different than your traditional wedding florals. I tried to pick a color scheme that I thought would be different, kind of set myself apart from the, the rest. My wood flowers stand out from everybody. I think a lot of people love the idea of eco-friendly, that they can reuse it. So then it's everlasting and you're not just throwing a whole bunch of greenery away. How's things going here? Good? Pretty good, yeah. Awesome. So, um, are you happy with your arch? Yeah, I know you had kind of gotten one that you weren't super excited about, and luckily you were switched. And so, are you feeling good about this one? I am, yeah. This one is just kind of very unstable, so it's hard to get the mechanics in place, but so far it's going well. So. Done. Tell me what this is called. So this is Plumosa. Plumosa, I really love that color. It's like it's one so of pretty. my favorite greeneries to use. And I did, I spray painted it. Um, Hot pink oh, color. it's so pretty. I love yeah. it. Well, I'm really excited to see what you do, even though it's one that you've done before and it's very traditional. I, I love seeing new takes on the arches. So, Morris, you have less than one minute, 50 seconds. End of day one, how do you think it went? I think it went really good. I, it was good to see everybody's creativity. It's fun to see what they're doing with the arches they were given. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, talking to them, they seem like they're doing pretty well on time. I think mechanically there's some things that we can watch for. Yeah. But uh, it should, I think, hopefully everything will be fine. Yeah, I was really impressed with everyone. I think it's coming together really nice. But yes, tomorrow we'll have the big day of all the flowers and I'm really excited to see how that goes. Yeah, yeah I think it'll be really good to kind of see how everything comes together. Going into day two, feeling tired. <laughs> Mine, I have a lot of dried, and so I was able to get a lot of it done yesterday, but hopefully we'll just be able to perfect it as much as we can in this 90 minutes. Day two was actually really fun. It was my favorite day to get the flowers in there and kind of see it all come together. Yesterday was stressful for me, but um, it went really good. I was glad that I was able to put in quite a few flowers. Is your vision coming together? Yeah, it's not just like a poster board with a sketch on it anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it looks like it's coming together. I think yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. Um, I'm glad you, you see the vision. You guys are down to 45 seconds. We just started cramming at the end. There was a point where we, I was, I told my husband, just like, just throw it in there. Like, it has to be covered. I did make a big change, like halfway through, I moved one of my arch pieces, and I think it was a great move. Okay, you guys are down to your last 10. Three, two, one. Regardless of the outcome, I think we should all be proud of ourselves. I just wanted to create something different and kind of put myself out there creatively. Not very many brides choose yellow, but it's my favorite color and I wanted to try it out and I think that it turned out beautifully. We want to make sure the flowers speak to us and we let them go where they want rather than overly designing it and forcing it. We 
we kind of took a risk and did something a lot bigger than what we originally planned on. So honestly, I really just am so grateful to be here and I admire every single one of you and am honored to be a part of this because everything you put forward was amazing. And it was so cool just from my perspective to walk through and see, this is you, this is you, this is you. And it's like, I'm sure it was really nice for you guys as florists to have a second to go, I get to show who I am instead of bringing someone else's vision to life. And so that's been really fun for me to just see you guys. I'm just happy that I am up there and kind of on their level. That makes me feel good that I can compete with these awesome florists. All of you have made it and we knew that Morgan was going to New Orleans and she is there today. So Bryce is standing in for Morgan and uh, we just want to introduce him to everyone. So that being said, third place does go to Morgan for Olive and Sage. She is the winner for the third place. Morgan with Olive and Sage. <laughs> she has a very distinct, unique style that has been very in. Second place goes to Kelsey from Wild Escapes. Okay, so our grand prize winner is going to win the $500 cash prize as well as a vendor spotlight and the styled shoot for the day. So we're really excited to announce. Tanea, you are the winner of the challenge! <laughs> Yes, I won. I can't believe it. All the hard work. I'm just so proud of my team and I for bringing together my vision and so excited to be working with the brides this year at the Fifth Floor. It's going to be a great time. Wonderful opportunity. Well, there you have it. It's been an exciting few days. We have our three finalists and we couldn't be happier than to nurture their creative talent here at the Fifth Floor. A huge congratulations not only to the winners, but to all of the competitors who shared their talents with us. I'm Stacey Larson and on behalf of everyone here, thank you for watching. We'd love to host your next event. For booking or more information, please visit our website, thefifthfloorutah.com.